here. Today we have Baby Yoda joining us as usual, and we also have my friend Beagle here because we are going to be reading his story, The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. And I would love to know if any of you ever had an imaginary friend. I know I did when I was little. I had an imaginary friend named Key. So let's read a little bit about Beagle. So Beagle was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. No one has imagined him yet. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. Look, it looks like he's going on an adventure. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time very different from the imaginary world that he is used to. Then finally, he saw something familiar. Here it is. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place. Look how bright and colorful. But he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But none of these kids can see him. No one came. Poor Beagle. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited, and he felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! She had lost her paper and Beagle was giving it back to her. Her face was friendly and familiar and there was something about her that felt just right. And look, she drew a picture of them. At first, they weren't sure what to do. They look a little nervous. Neither of them had made a friend before. But after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading about the adventures of Beagle with me. Remember, always be safe and always be kind. Have a great day, friends. Bye for now.